Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another UFC Undisputed Forever video, and today we're going to be doing a Steven Wonderboy Thompson title mode. Um, should be really fun. He has a really diverse move set, a lot of tricks up his sleeve, and uh, relatively good stats too, which I will show you right now. Let me just move my camera. There you go. He has a 92 speed, which is pretty damn fast for welterweight. He has an 84 cardio, which is pretty good. 96 footwork, which is really good, probably one of the highest in the division, if not the highest. He has a 91 standing kicks. He has a 81 bottom grapple, which is pretty damn good if you get taken down, because you're not going to get absolutely wrestle every time. And if you go over the defensive stats, he's pretty good defensively on the feet, and he's really good with submission defense. An 85 is pretty high. He's a pretty hard guy to submit. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. Let's see how it goes. I think we can probably get some pretty cool knockouts here. He has a really good spinning back kick and set up with a feint of a hook. And he also has a little bit of a different moveset if you switch stances. He has a side kick to the leg from Southpaw, I believe, but he doesn't have it from Orthodox, unfortunately. But from Southpaw, he does. We're definitely going to be using that a lot. Conor McGregor has it as well, who I'm probably going to be doing the, sh uh, not a showcase, a title mode on next. Probably record that after this. I'm also probably going to be recording more Warriors tonight, so if you want to go check that out, it'll be on my second channel. I'll probably release it tonight if I can't and I don't have time. It'll be tomorrow. But yeah, McGregor has the same kick from, I don't know if it's from Southpaw or Orthodox. It might be both, honestly. Wow, we dropped Kevin Holland very early on. Land an elbow. He gets right up, though. I'm not trying to grapple too much. I probably could have kept... We dropped him again. God damn, Holland. He's getting pieced up. All right, let me get up. I don't want him to get me in a triangle. I think he probably has some sneaky submission since he is a black... I don't know if he's a black belt, but he is definitely training under Travis Luter. If I remember correctly. I'm gonna try to land that stepping straight. Oh wait, it's, yeah, that's what, like I was saying, he has a different move set from Orthodox and Southpaw. So from Orthodox, he has a stepping elbow, but from Southpaw, he has a stepping straight. That closes a lot of distance. The elbow doesn't close as much distance, but it can land really good if you time it right. I probably could have landed it right there, but instead, I threw a hook like an idiot. Ooh. That was a close head kick right there. That straight landed clean, though. I want that question mark kick eventually. It's very hard to land. Which is weird, because I'm usually good at landing it. But recently, I've not been so good at landing it. Apparently, we're cut. Alright, he stops our kick in its tracks. We are landing some good combos, I will say. Sometimes shorter, quicker punches are the way to go. Ooh, he almost ran into that. That could have been a knockout and a half right there. We're setting up the spinning kick again. There you go. Knew that was gonna land. Elbow, 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 elbow. And that's a wrap. First fight in the bag. Glad it was uh, Kevin Holland. With the victory. Kevin Holland is a pretty good matchup. Oh no, the shaders are bugging out. One more time. Hopefully my game doesn't start freaking out. If it does, I'll have to, uh, I don't know, cut ahead and come back. I really don't that know. Elbow, Joe, That'd be beautiful. highly Climb unfortunate. And with our it does decision, happen sometimes where everything just starts flickering and the game crashes, but it's very rare. As, you, as you've seen, we've done a lot of title modes. We've done a few career modes. A lot of fighter showcases overall just a ton of content on this channel of the game and very rarely do we ever get crashes or problems so runs pretty well on an emulator considering uh let's see how this goes please don't give me any troubles emulator not right now Leon Edwards, wow. Between They're giving us some Hardy tough fights for our first few fights. I like a hangnail that's bothering me. My nails are all f***ed up. I need like a nail file or something, but that's besides the point. Alright, I'm going to do my best to try to get another quick knockout here. 
Leon Edwards is a little bit tougher because he's very well rounded. I think he's a 91 overall. Although we are hitting him very early on with some hard shots. More body shots are definitely what we need. Let me throw. Ooh, nice straight. I'm spamming hooks and he's really not catching on. I'm not fighting very smart, but uh, it's working very well. The crowd in favor of the outlaw, Dan Hardy. All right. The duck and roll and the body shot. So far, so good. I want that question mark kick eventually if we can get it. And we got it. Wow. He's letting us land everything on him. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. I think we really haven't missed much. Oh my god. If we landed that head kick, that would have been unbelievable. Oh, he recovers. We almost just landed one right there. The chance came over the top with a question mark kick. And what I'm gonna do here is okay, that landed to the body, it looked like. I wanted to land it to the head. Does he have the flying kick from here? No, he has okay. It is from Southpaw. Some Let me throw more kicks. of these legs, um, side, side kicks to the leg. Oh, just chopping them down. Ooh, gets me in a clinch. Smart man. Pushing okay, let me get out of change. here. He has a really strong clinch, apparently. Him and Colby. One, two, we're locking me up in the clinch. Oh, he's tagged again. Actually, I didn't do the Colby fight on here, but I played as Steven Thompson Quick a little hands. bit. Oh, but he recovers. Um, before, and I remember Colby Covington so giving me some down. serious problems in the clinch. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Right hook, and now okay. he's gonna look for the finish. Oh, oh my god, he blocked it. I thought that was gonna be a knockout. And that was Jesus Christ. The flying head kick <laughs> jumped right at him. I want to see the replay of that in slow mo. Let's look at it again. He just has a deadly accurate left hook. Damn, son. Slept him. All right, what's next? Who are they going to give us next? So it's Kevin Holland and Leon Edwards in back-to-back -back fights. That's a pretty tough first two. We're barely getting hit, though. He has uh, such high footwork, it's kind of hard to get caught. Unless you're trying to, like, fight in the pocket or something. And also, all of his strikes cover a pretty good amount of distance. Oh, no, Gilbert Burns. Here's where things are going to get hairy is when we face wrestlers slash jujitsu specialists like Gilbert Burns. And Gilbert Burns is also a pain in the ass because <clears throat> he also has really hard punches. So you got to watch out for that too. But we should be able to take him. I think early on, let's go to the body, try to and land a question mark kick eventually. And then if we can, maybe Ladies even throw a few spinning kicks in there. This man is a mixed martial and now... I will say, Stephen Thompson's player model is a little bit beefy for the mod. I feel like he's a lot skinnier. Joe, what do you think's going through the mind of Carlos Condit coming right. into this fight? He has a wide ass body in the game. And comes in here with a lot of momentum. Absolutely. Although I haven't seen him fight in a while, I don't really know. I'd have to see a picture of him or something to remember how his build looks. I don't exactly keep my brain up to date with Stephen Thompson's newest looks. <laughs> All right. I want that straight punch, but like I said, he hits really hard, so I don't want to run into anything. He doesn't hit like ungodly hard or anything, but he hits hard enough to uh, upset you. Whether it be just he knocks you out, or he can just drop you and get you in a submission or something. Good combinations. All right, I want that straight punch. There we go. And a nice little body kick. His head back, Mike. We need more teeps to the... Oh, wait. He has a knee from there. From both sides. Okay. Oh, big kick. All right. Oh, nice left hook right there. Forgot he had an elbow. Back. I don't want the elbow right now. I want the straight punch. It he covers more kick. distance. Joe, Get up. We almost just got yeah, cracked right there when we were getting up. Jab to the body. He's hitting us with a lot of body shots, which is the opposite of what I wanted. Oh, 
I'm not throwing enough quick strikes is what my issue is. And I need to switch to southpaw so I have this. Nice. Thought that was going to drop his hands a little bit more, but he was definitely expecting what I did. All right, nice body shot. Now we're hitting him with some quick straights every once in a while. Nice sway. We're good. We just need to land one big... Okay, we don't need him to land something like that, though. We need to land one big thing, and then I think we can really... Jesus Christ, stop landing the head kick, you unbelievable... I don't even know what... <laughs> you unbelievable... <laughs> I can't speak today. I'm sorry. I'm really tired. I get barely got any sleep. Again. Insomnia is not fun. Just like I said, though, Gilbert Burns was going to give me trouble. Alright, I need to get my shit together here. Throw more kicks. I'm throwing a lot of kicks, guy. What are you talking about? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. Set for round two. This go, guys. Leg kicks. Three, That's what I'm going to do here. Leg kick. Oh, we almost landed it. I thought that was actually going to work. <laughs> Sometimes setting stuff up works so perfectly. And you just go, wow. <laughs> My plan actually worked. My master plan. Nice. There we go. Threw a little leg kick there just to throw him off. Nothing crazy. Get out of there before he decides to take us down. I was in the process of saying it. Jab. Nice. Almost got the... Oh, nice spinning kick out of nowhere. Glad I went for it. Oh my god, that head kick was lethal. There we go. There we go. We just did an insane amount of damage on him. I'd say a straight to the body. Throw a few of those, maybe a teep. And then, okay, that almost worked. That's my plan, though. You just basically saw a sneak peek of it. There you go. That was exactly what I was planning. I'm telling you, that uh, lunging hook feint to the spinning back kick almost always works. You feint it a couple times and then throw it, you're almost bound to hit it eventually. Let's see it again. Look at the torque he gets in this kick, Mike. Look at that. Spins takes the heel right to the face. Looks like it was right on the temple. That's definitely the thumbnail. Incredible amount of torque he puts into that. If there was ever a thumbnail moment. That is it. <laughs> Great All right. Here. So, Gilbert Burns, Kevin Holland, and Leon Edwards all knocked out. Here's Bruce Who's next, Harper I wonder? The official to sit. I think someone like Ian Gary would be pretty cool. Uh, Shavkat or Jeff Neal? Okay, that works too. Oh my god, excuse me, that seltzer water really hit me. Um... If we can get Nate Diaz, that'd be pretty cool. I feel like we would absolutely smoke him, but it'd be a fun matchup. Oh, Shavkat, great. I have a feeling this one is going to be a really, really tough fight. Although you never know. Sometimes when I go into fights thinking they're going to be the toughest fight, I almost perform to that level and do better. So... The veteran voice of the octagon. Let's see if we can do that. Sometimes when I'm like, eh, this fight's gonna be easy, I get my ass kicked. This man is a mixed martial and now fight it! And when the action begins, All right. you ready, sir? You ready? Carlos Condit, Dong Yong Kim. Here we go. Here we first go. things first. Yo, what do you think's going Switch to South Paul. Carlos Condit coming into this fight. He's been pretty now, successful as of late. Let's throw some shots to the body real quick. Yeah, and that's the kind of winning streak that gets attention. If he can there we go. In a row tonight, that'll send a mess. Nice. nice. He's hurt. He's hurt. That was like an instinctual thing. I did not set that up or anything. I just went, you know what? He's going in for it. Let me try to throw a kick. And he lets it Knock him down. He caught the Fuck. kick. He gets a takedown. 
Got us with a takedown. Reversal. Oh my god, Steven Thompson. Beautiful. He gets away from our spinning kick. Nice knee. Body shot. Switch stances. Leg kick. I want that straight punch real quick. Beautiful. Everything's landing how we want it. Throw a few of those uh, kicks in there. By kicks, I, I didn't mean that one. I meant the front kick, actually. God damn, we're, we are teeing off on him. Throwing a few knees every once in a while down the middle, just in case he... <laughs> just in case he goes for a takedown or something. We're reversing everything he does. There we go. I had it loaded up again. He's going to go for the knee the one time I don't expect. Or not the knee. He's going to go for the takedown the one time I don't expect it and load up the knee. I already know it. Good takedown defense. He's in full guard here. He's being smart with it so far, though. He hasn't really fell into it yet. A lot. Sorry, I just had a stroke real quick. As you've uh, seen, if you've watched in my... Oh my god, Reese. What the f*** is wrong with you? Why can't I talk right now? <laughs> if you've seen my last few videos, you will know that we hit a lot of people with those knees recently. Um, when they're on their backs, they shoot for the takedown from the floor sometimes. And it is almost always a bad idea for them. Sometimes I don't see it coming and they get me, but like eight times out of ten. Oh my god, that uppercut was lethal. Eight times out of ten, I'd say I hit him with the knee. Because they usually shoot from so far away. Went for an elbow, didn't quite get it. I'm sorry for my commentary today. I had, I'm so tired right now. I didn't get enough sleep. I know I keep saying it, but I just, I can never go to bed, man. Stuff. I know I, I know you need your sleep and it's unhealthy to stay up and it's really bad, but I just can't help it. Let's take a look at the replay. I can never go fully. Wow, that kick was unbelievable. I can never fu uh, fully go to bed and I can really never go to bed on a good at a good time. So that leaves me with this. A shell of myself, <laughs> barely able to speak. But hopefully you guys are still enjoying it. This is a fun title mode still. Had some good knockout so far some good sequences Shavkat is giving us some issues but I think we should probably be able to knock him out eventually We're, we heard him pretty bad early on he knocked us down once but that's not really too too much of a problem especially since he didn't rock us he just knocked us down it was like a flash KO not a flash KO a flash knockdown excuse me southpaw step on the leg why did that happen? I pressed the buttons, but the kick was delayed. That's like never happened to me. Alright, that was strange. It was a perfect setup, too. He went for a kick, missed it. If I threw the question mark kick, it would have landed clean. But I guess Thompson didn't want to. There we go. I knew I was going to land it eventually. Oh my god, that elbow almost landed. That would have been a hell of a combo. Alright, I want that straight punch again. Or maybe, actually, I know what to do. That was not my plan, but that worked flawlessly. Oh my god. Wow. That's the thing. When you catch someone in, like... A mis when you catch someone's mistake with Thompson, you can capitalize on it so fast because he's so fast. His footwork's really fast. He has a lot of uh, strikes that cover a ton of distance. So the second you just get that one opportunity, you can really tee off on him and KO him pretty easily. Like that one uppercut just set all that up. It was actually probably the first punch I landed, not the uppercut. That was a pretty good one. I enjoyed that. The official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Round two knockout. 
And now we're gonna be fighting Nate Diaz or GSP, I think. Oh my god, I almost just dropped my remote. Uh, both fights are pretty cool. GSP would be much harder. Let's see what we get. Nate Diaz, thank God. Nate, I think we can make pretty quick work of. And the natural born killer he's one of those guys that you can uh underestimate though if you underestimate him he will give you some trouble really good cardio obviously is a diaz brother Dodge. relatively good punches pretty good boxing uh with that, good submissions has a lot of good submissions from different Ladies angles and, and stuff like that can switch uh submissions i believe he has now. some stuff from rubber guard Excuse me. All right. I'm going to try to just absolutely outclass him, though. Miss our first strike. I don't know how his uh, kick defense is, so I'm going to try to land some kicks on him as I throw a boxing combination. As, wow, he threw a kick. The Diaz brothers do throw some kicks every once in a while, but I think they throw them a little bit too much in this. Uh, in pretty much every game, they really make them throw a lot of kicks. Nice head kick right off the bat. He's got the clip. Oh, Knocked him down. He's down. Boom. Catches our first elbow he on the ground. He snapped back quick. Is he going to go for a stupid takedown? No. Okay. The crowd I was going to say, I will absolutely sleep him with a knee if I have to. I want that spinning heel kick, but I'm going to wait for it a little bit. I'm going to let it cook. Almost just landed a knee up the middle when he was going for a body shot. There we go, elbow. He can't take many more of these, Joe. His strikes are really fast. I will give him that. Like, look at that. His quick strikes, especially. Like, look at those. Damn. That's what I gotta be doing. Oh, but he ate a left hand. What a huge right hand. All right. God damn it. He is a tough bastard. But. Not for long. Man, we will knock him out this right. round. First round really? knockout. I'm telling you. Oh, one. Strike. oh, but he recovers. All right, we are gassed. Something awful right now. So we got to be careful. If he takes us down and submits us, I will absolutely kill myself. Hold on. There we go. Oh, he rocked him back. Oh, big shot. We should kick him in the chest. We just Sparta kick him. Oh, he recovers. Man, this crowd is. Here we go. Straight, oh wait, no, not the straight punch. Why do I always forget his moveset? This is when I get confused. Oh, well, I guess we knocked him out with a hook. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is when I get confused, is when the fighters have uh, multiple movesets from different stances. Sometimes my brain just gets like scrambled. Didn't think that's how we were gonna knock him out. I thought either a straight punch or a head kick, but. That works too. First round knockout on Nate Diaz. I think, yep, two more fights. JDM and then Tony Ferguson. I don't know why the f Tony Ferguson is the champion right now, but you know what? It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Somehow he got there. I guess it was Tony time after all. Uh, JDM, I should be able to also make pretty quick work of. He has uh, good boxing and all, but... I don't think he's going to be able to outstrike Stephen Thompson here. Now that we're putting together his moveset a little bit better than we were in the beginning, I think we can probably finish this up pretty quick. It's been 23 minutes, 24 minutes just now. Yeah, I think we probably finish this in under like 40 minutes to an hour, as long as we don't lose really, really uh, dramatically towards the end. We should be able to do it. That was like a heel kick to the chest. Alright. Like kick. More quick strikes is the name of the game. Let me please remember that this time. I keep forgetting that. Every time we throw a lot of quick strikes and then throw a strong strike, it lands perfectly. Because that's how you're supposed to use them. But my stupid ass wants the knockout so bad that I just go ham sometimes. There we go. Landed a head kick right off the bat. Nice jab to the body. Another leg kick. 
Oh, there we go. Drop him extremely early on. And he catches our elbow again. I really gotta start fainting again. There we go. I wasn't ready for it, and I still got him. I still got him on a stupid takedown attempt. I had a feeling one of the AIs was gonna go for it eventually. The chance continue. The crowd is really behind Josh Costa. All right. Spinning heel kick incoming. I know what I gotta do. We gotta fade back and hit him with straight. He's got the clinch. Nice clinch. He cornered me perfectly. Nope. Wanted that uh, jumping switch kick, but not quite. Oh, but he ate a left hand. We can land the spinning heel kick right here. There you go. Oh, he rocked him bad here, Mike. I knew uh, he was going to start going off on the fence. Or even go for a clinch. Oh, my God. That just touched his chin. <laughs> that was almost a one-shot knockout right there. Nice double leg. I should have defended that. That was my fault. I have an itch on my chin, so I was distracted. My bad. And that is a okay. I'm getting a little bit cocky here, but we we're gonna we're gonna finish him right here. There we go. I got a little bit ahead of myself saying that's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. Now, I think we're gonna be fighting for the belt, which is, uh, who is it again? Tony? For some reason, Tony Ferguson. Is it still Tony Ferguson? Yes, it is still Tony Ferguson. <laughs> so we're fighting Tony Ferguson for the belt. Why do I feel like Tony Ferguson is going to give us a really tough fight right now? I always, I always hate fighting Tony. I underestimate him a lot. All right, we're gonna do the fight pose. Skip all that. Not a very interesting face-off. Tony Ferguson versus uh, Wonder Boy would be <laughs> the weirdest matchup of all time. Coming up next, it's the UFC Tony'd probably get absolutely starched though. Between the Ultimate Fighter season one middleweight win. If Chandler can land a front kick on your face like that, I think Wonder Boy can probably land some 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 crazy. Sh on you <laughs> introductions the veteran voice of the octagon granted i i i mean you wouldn't expect chandler so maybe the surprise factor was a little bit more he didn't see it coming but you know wonder boy is really good at surprising you as well round one is underway spinning heel kick right off the bat straight to the dome hit him with an elbow and he's already dropped wow in a real Tony fight, in his prime, this is where Tony would start becoming El Kakui and start whooping your ass, but right now I think I'm about to knock him out. Pretty early on. Nice. I'll probably add a pride fight, or not a pride, a Ryzen fight in here. If this goes, uh, super fast. Let me just focus for a second. There we go. God damn it. Okay, I messed up there. Side control. Nicely done. And we don't want to be down here with El Kakui. And back to full guard. Back to side control. I'm messing up, guys. And into full mouth. Big time. Fuck me, man. Oh, boom. What is wrong with me right now? Why can't I play this game? I am sucking cheeks right now. Oh my god, that was pathetic. That was some of the most pathetic grappling I've ever, ever had in this game. Worst defense. Fuck me, man. Thank god we needed that so bad. We needed that so bad. Are you gonna go for the knee when I get up? Are you gonna go for the takedown when, you, when I get up? Oh my god, let me go! Oh my god, bro! Jesus Christ! Of all the people, I knew it was gonna be Tony Ferguson. I knew it! I knew it! I 
knew it. I knew he was going to give me enormous trouble in this game. I knew it. He always does. Oh my god, I hate you. I hate you so much. I need to focus. Hold on. He got out. And he escapes. Get to full guard, please, God. I remember what I said about don't worry if you get on bottom position as uh, Thompson. Never listen to me, <laughs> apparently, because that's not how this is going at all. That was a f***ing problem. We had him so hurt so early, and it all went so bad so fast. I just said so, so many times. <laughs> okay. Dude, I'm gonna f***ing... Uh, I'm gonna flip my desk right now. I, I swear to God. I haven't been this pissed in a title mode in a long time. To the guy that said up the difficulty. No. <laughs> no. I've explained it on multiple occasions already. It is not that I'm on too low of a difficulty. It was that I was using some of the best fighters in the game that have literal great A-plus stats everywhere, including submissions, ground game, stand-up. Like, Ilya Taporia is a fucking ace in every position, so you can obviously do really well as him. Steven Thompson has a glaring weakness on the ground, as you can see. And every once in a while, you can do some work. There we go, we landed a nice knee. We really need this drop right here. Bad, bad, bad. Very, very bad. Very good head kick. I don't even know how the f we landed that. Oh, beautiful. He's getting jacked here. He's in big trouble. Get up. Oh, but he recovers. Nice elbow. Oh, he's head kick. That one dropped him. Oh my God. I think we just did it. Oh my God. That was a bizarre fight overall. I don't know why he's arguing with the referee, but Jesus. It started so clean, got so bad so quick, <laughs> and then went right back to we're in control. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I mean by Tony. Tony Ferguson is a weird fight anytime, no matter what you do. We got the belt. I'm gonna show you guys the statistics real quick, and then we will do one last bonus fight. I think against George St. Pierre. That seems like a pretty good one. If not, It'll be another fighter. We'll see who we get, or who I choose to fight when we get there. Uh, yeah, all TKO slash KOs, no decisions, which is really good. Uh, not the most accurate I was in any of these title modes, but, you know, it was relatively good. We were only rocked once by another fighter, which was in that fight, I think. And we were also only knocked down by one other fighter, so that's pretty good. Um, I will see you guys in one second when we are here with the next fight and the last fight. It'll probably be in Ryzen. And, uh, yeah. See you guys then. Alright, we're here with the last fight of the day, and I actually ended up going with MVP. It seemed like the obvious choice once I was looking at it. I was like, how the hell did I not think of that? I was between that and Cedric Dumbe, but I ended up going MVP because he's a little bit more of a popular fighter. But, uh, if you guys want to see Cedric Dumbe at some point, I'll do that too. I already did a showcase on him, but I might do a title mode with him, too. He was really fun to use. Alright, touch of the gloves right off the bat. I am gonna try to just outmaneuver MVP. I know he has bad cardio, comparatively, to Stephen Thompson. It's gonna be a tough one, though. He's really elusive, obviously. Two hooks to the body right off the bat. Oh, that was actually way closer. He almost fell for our trap. And that knee landed. All right. Why does he have... Oh, there's no elbows in Pride. Okay, makes sense. In Ryzen there is, but this was originally Pride. I was wondering why he was throwing that hook thing. All right. Let me throw some more feints, set up this head kick I'm about to throw. Those lunging hooks come out of nowhere from the AI. They don't really set them up or anything, they just kind of throw them naked, but they tend to land. For them, not for me. If I throw that, they would block that sh a second, but I suck, so you know. That's how it is. <laughs> 
All right, I'm still trying to stay elusive to a certain extent at least. Nice hook from him. That's when you want to keep your hands up. We're gonna land that spinning back kick again. There you go. Spinning heel kick. Every time I say it, we pretty much do. So it's like a definitely a go-to move. I don't know how the hell he dodged that straight punch. I thought I set that up perfectly. Oh my god. He's backing us up a little bit too much for my liking. And I also remembered what I'm doing wrong. Not enough quick strikes. There we go. There we go. Now we're starting to hit him a lot. Alright. Straight punch. Beautiful. Jab to the body, and now what we're gonna do is set up that um, spinning back kick again. When he throws that um, lead hook, that's the perfect time to catch him with it. Okie dokie. Oh god. Nice question mark kick. Not good, guys. Not good at all. Very not good. Alright, we need to get the fuck out of there. Okay. We need to get that back really quickly. Or we are in a bad spot. Nice, straight. Sorry for yelling. Alright, get up, get up, get up, get up. Mm, not what you want. little bag of four action here. We really need to... There we go. I was going to say we need to land something big, and we did, for sure. Get the fuck up. I'm not, I'm not finishing you that way. I want this to be good. Although I might regret that heavily. Yes, I do. Fuck me. I think we just lost, because I'm a cocky bastard. Or not. With the fact that he could take all that punishment. That was crazy. And open guard. He's God. And he jumps right back up. Why didn't he just throw the kick I wanted him to throw? Alright, hold on, guys. There we go! Got him dazed. There we go! What a shot! He's down! It's unbelievable that he's... I'm spamming it too much. Why did I throw it again? That time I didn't mean to. Oh my god. MVP, go down. With your indestructible f***ing noggin. Push forward, push forward. Don't retreat. One, two, let's go. Oh, that's a nice right kick to the body there. This is clean section. There we go! Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. The last few fights were absolutely hell. But we got there. We got through. I hope you guys enjoyed these. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'm sorry for my lackluster commentary today. I'm just so f tired. But we still got through it. We made it. And uh, yeah, I'll be getting to some of the more some more of the uh, title modes on the list pretty soon. We're going to be doing Conor McGregor next, probably, if I had to guess. And I'm also going to be recording some more of the Hamza Chimaev career mode, so stay tuned for that. And last but not least, the Warriors for my second channel, so also stay tuned for that. But, yeah, until next, uh, until next time, guys, peace out.